Hello, welcome to Let's Code Easy tutorial. Today I'll show you how to create a splash screen for your Android application. A splash screen is a good way of highlighting your brand and also it helps you to keep the app engaged if any resources are loading during app launch. So without further ado, let's start with the tutorial. I have an Android project already created using Android Studio and I am going to add some image assets required in the project. For that, I am using a plugin called Android Drawable Importer. I recommend you do the same. The plugin helps you resize the images for different resolutions. I will explain about drawable images and pixel densities in a different tutorial. For my project, I will not require all the pixel densities, let's say for the Android TV. So I will stick with MDPI, HDPI, XHDPI and XXHDPI. Each DPI defines a specific screen resolution. I click on OK and the image drawables are imported to my project. Let's start creating the layout for splash screen. And before that, let's get rid of the boilerplate code. I would go with a linear layout with an orientation of vertical, which means the controls I lay out will all align vertically with the linear layout as parent. Let me get rid of the text view, which comes with the boilerplate and have the margins and paddings removed. My application background is a uh, branding green, which I will uh, pick up from the design. So that's my branding color. Now I add an image view on which uh, I'll be adding the logo. So the layout width and height is set to match parent and wrap content. I can define something called as a gravity which is center which makes the image uh, aligned to the center of the application. So let me just get rid of all the boilerplates created. Uh, there is a right uh, message box which is not required in my application line in this splash screen. Also, I don't need the app bar layout. So that clears uh, all the boilerplates. Now the logo is center aligned. Let's now clean up and implement our code in the splash activity class. 
there are uh, boilerplate code there too so let's get rid of that too I don't need the app combat activity instantiated so I would just go with the inheritance of the activity class also let's get rid of uh, all the unused imports so that that looks clean so let's instantiate an intent class which is the message carrier of an activity our splash should stay for as short as possible. So let's define a variable and assign the milliseconds there. So I'll go with a 3000 milliseconds, which is like a three second splash screen. So uh, I would like to launch a login activity from the splash screen. So we need to create an intent for that. And before that, uh, let's create an, a handler. A handler will help in scheduling a runnable after three seconds and launch another activity from splash activity. I define the runnable and there is a run method uh, which is implemented. I pass the uh, the time required like the three seconds after which it will launch my login activity. So I need I now need to create a activity which will be launched from the run. So let me create a activity. I go with the login activity. It does not have a hierarchical parent. So on finish it creates my activity it gives me some boilerplates which I'll be using later in the project also it has uh, a progress bar etc which we can customize in a later tutorial So watch out for another tutorial on how to log in using HTTP. We'll be using some web services for that. So let's come back to the run method and create an intent instance. We need to pass the current uh, context which is the splash activity instant. So we'll just pass that. Also, it requires uh, the class which we are instantiating. So the object dot class, which is a login activity dot class. So for starting an in instance or an activity we just need to call the current uh, activities uh, start activity method and pass the intent
So once that activity is started, we need to stop the current activity. So we have a finish method for the current activity. So once done, we are ready to launch the application. So let's build the app and run it. I'm using a device to run it so you can see the screen launching. Currently it is building the application. So everything looks good and the app is launching now. So you can see the splash screen for three seconds and it then goes to the sign up screen. That's it for this episode. Be sure to subscribe to our channel Let's Code Easy by clicking on the subscribe button. Make sure to check out our other videos and feel free to provide your feedback. Thank you.